quantum mechanics. This chapter deals with the concept which revolutionized the way physics was thought of. The way the experiments were conducted and the way discoveries were made. This concept was so significant that a new branch called quantum mechanics came into existence. So, we are going to discuss few exciting concepts in this chapter on quantum mechanics. The term quantum mechanics was coined by physicist Max Born and it started with a basic question, what is light? Is it a wave? Is it a particle? Or is it both? This question was the central focus of many physicists at that point of time. Sir Isaac Newton was the first to study the light and give basic observations. He treated light as a particle. But as the time we went on, the theory of wavelength spectrum came up and a huge debate broke out. Was light a particle or a wave? After the dual slit experiment, the debate was over for a while. Scientists agreed on light being wave. As always, another experiment came into the picture. A metal surface, when hit with light, released electrons and the behavior did not match if we assumed light was a wave. To study this behavior of light, they wanted to study about perfectly radiating body called a black body. Black body is an idealized physical body that absorbs all the incident electromagnetic radiation regardless of frequency or angle of incidence. To stay in thermal equilibrium, it must emit radiation at the same rate as it absorbs it. So, a black body also radiates well. Practical experimentation on black bodies gave the shape of distribution. But there was no explanation on why does the black body emit energy like this. Two English scientists, Lord Rayleigh and Sir James, were studying these radiation to explain the energy emitted from a black body at different wavelengths. This result is known as rayleigh genes law. It fitted with the experimental curve at longer wavelength, but at the shorter wavelengths, it failed. It stated that the intensity decreases exponentially with the increasing wavelength. So, conversely, the energy emitted near the ultraviolet or visible region of electromagnetic spectrum is infinite, which contradicts law of conservation of energy. This has been termed as the failure of classical physics. It is also known as ultraviolet catastrophe. On the other hand, William Wien was also studying black bodies. He gave an equation which predicted the curve in the shorter wavelength region but failed in the longer wavelength region. So these predictions using classical physics failed to explain the energy emissions and ultimately find an answer to the behavior of light. Then came German physicist Max Planck. He accidentally stumbled upon an empirical formula which explained experimental black body curve to perfection. For his experiment, he assumed energy traveled in packets called quanta. He predicted that energy emissions were actually quantized. Even he was not confident with this explanation because energy was not meant to be quantized. It should have been continuous by the conventional school of thoughts at that time. Now, what is a quanta? A quanta is a plural form of quantum which is the smallest possible unit of something, usually energy. You cannot divide energy lower than this. 
So it was for Max Planck's equation for energy density for the black body radiation, the quantum mechanics was born. A start of the study of movement of matter in non-Newtonian ways. This is the start of quantum mechanics where we assume the energy to emit or radiate in a tiny package of energy called quanta. To sum up, we learnt about a perfectly radiating black body, Rayleigh Jean's law, ultraviolet catastrophe and then we saw Wayne's explanation. Finally, we learnt about Max Planck's energy quantization. In our next video, we learn about Planck's law. See you there.